Welcome to Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction, featuring the only classic tractor auction of its kind in the country. Today, some of the hardest to find tractors in the world will hit the auction block. So sit back and relax and enjoy Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction. Hello everyone, I'm Amanda Trudell and you're watching Mecham's Gone Farming from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Today we have an exciting show for you. Not only will you get to see some of the country's finest vintage tractors cross the auction block, but you'll have our expert Max Wilson giving you the history of some of the tractors along with interviews of the buyers and sellers. Don't go anywhere, Mecham's Gone Farming is on. Up next, we got G47, which is a 1935 Caterpillar Model 22. This is a two-owner crawler out of Montana where it was used pulling a fencing cart. Does have the drawbar on it. And of course, a lot of these Caterpillar crawlers, they got used in some real harsh environments that just got the daylight beat out of them. So this one here, a true survivor, two-owner, selling at no reserve. Be real interest interesting to see where this thing gets uh, hammered at on the way out its door here in Harrisburg. And it comes up with a good pump to tame pals head. And it's a tame to tame to tame pit head. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame to the tame pit tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the tame to the tame pit five. And it's a tame to the Five pounds, forty-eight, 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 four pounds, five your pants out, six pounds out, and the five pounds, six pounds and pounds, and the five pounds, six pounds, fifty-five, and the five pounds, fifty-five, five pounds and fifty, five hundred to five, fifty, five hundred to five, five pounds and fifty-five, and the five pounds, five pounds, five pounds, forty-eight, 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 fifty-five, and the five pounds, fifty-five hundred to five, and the forty-eight, forty-eight, five pounds and fifty-five, fifty-two and a half, four and go, start rolling her out slow, five pounds, fifty-two, fifty, now five, two and a half, five, half you're gonna be fifty-five now. I'm a TV to get five. You got your house. I'm a TV to get five. Fifty two and a half with Jesse. Fifty five hundred buyers. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty five hundred to five. I'm a two and a half. Damn five. TV to get five. Fifty two and a half. Damn five. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty TV to get five. Don't run ahead. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Not done. TV to get five. I'm a two and a half. Damn five. Two and a half. Damn five. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty two and a half. Damn five. I'm a fifty two and a half. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five hundred to five. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty two and a half. Damn five. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty five hundred to five. I'm a TV to get five. Five to five. Fifty five hundred to five. Hundred to five. Five five. Now. You can buy now seven and a half. 57 and a half, 57 and a half, 55 bids, 750, and the 500 of the 7 and a half, 57 and a half, 56, or did you say 6,000? We say 6,000, sir. 56, 58, and the 600 of the 8, 8, 8, 50, 600 and 8, and the 600 of the 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 600 and 8, and the 50, 600, 50, 800 wire, and the 600 of the 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 600 and 7 wire, and the 600 and 7, 600 and 7, 10 your pound, and the 600 of the 7, 7, 7, 50, 600, 7, last call, 600 and 7 wire. Go ahead and run it out. Solder at 5,600, Jesse, and a solder at 5,600 dollars, Jesse. We're here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at Mecham's August Extravaganza because they do cars, motorcycles, tractors, a little bit of everything. And Court here is kind of going back and forth. What are you doing here today? Uh, looking for tractors, um, kind of interested in a few and curious what some of them are worth. Uh, I have a few like 3010 John Deere diesel, thinking about selling, so just. Now you have some, a collection back home. Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so I got a John Deere 60, a couple John Deere Bs, John Deere A. Just, some of them were left from my grandfather to me, so had some, you know, sentimental value. He farmed with them, so. And you've had experience with Mecham in general. Tell me about your experience. Yes, I uh, been to some of the car auctions. Have a neighbor, which is also um, my sister's boyfriend's dad. He collects a bunch of the cars. Uh, featuring some of his up here so it's pretty neat to see him sale and you know pretty 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 cool awesome well best of luck to you today well thank you all right and up next we have lot number g52 which is a 1975 
Farm Mall 1066 International, believed to have 2,712 original hours on it. Two owner tractor came out of Missouri, has never been exposed to the dairy environment. Um, if anyone knows what dairy manure and that type of stuff can do to the exterior of a tractor with rust net. This one here, I actually talked to the owner, said it was a very nice, clean and original looking tractor. He went through, did some paint. Actually has the original seat cushions on it. So this one here would be a great tractor to parade or take to the shows and have fun with. Let's see what it hammers at. Ladies and gentlemen, the reserve is off. Next. Tractor sold, 11 5, 12,000 wire. I'm a little bit fine, be 12,000. Roll it hard, out slow. I'm a little bit fine, be 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I'm a little bit fine, be 12, 11,000, fine, 12,000. I'm a 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I'm a little bit fine, now 12, 11,000, fine, 12,000. I'm a 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Tractor sells today. Did you get 12? Did you get 12, Abby? 11, 5, 12,000. I'm a 12, 12, 7 and a half. 12, 2 and a half. 12, 2, 3, 12, 2 and a half, you're pound pound. And the 12, 2 and a half, 7 and a half, 2 and a half. And the 12, 2, 50, and the 12, 2, 50, 12, 2, 50, 12, 2, 50, 12 pounds. 11, 7 and a half, 12 pounds somewhere. And the 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 pounds. And the 7 and a half, 12. Got the tractor master on there. 11, 7 and a half, 12 pounds. We get a move like an split. 12 pounds of dollars. And the 12 pounds of the 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 pounds. 11, 7 and a half, 12. If he can't drive it, nobody can. 12 pounds of dollars where? Let it seven hand band twelve. And it's a hand of the tall tall to tall to the guitar guitar. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, 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 and that doesn't change your mind. I just don't know what will. Let it seven and a half, twelve thousand dollars. And a tall hand of the tall tall to tall to the guitar. And a little seven and a half band twelve twelve pounds. And a tall hand of the tall tall to tall to the guitar 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 twelve pounds. And a little seven and a half band twelve. Our last call. Twelve thousand dollars. If you want to bid, bid now. Twelve hand of the twelve. Sold it, 11,750 Abbey. He's order 11,750 Abbey. G53, 73. I understand, Keith, you bought a real nice 1066 here today. Max, I think we bought a real nice 1066 <laughs> today. I know looking around it, that thing didn't show much wear anywhere on it. It did not. What caught my eye was that it uh, theoretically only has 2,700 hours on it. Yep. It was mechanically good. And I can still remember buying one new back in 1974. Okay. And so we had really good uh, service out of it. Okay. So kind of going to your past there and kind of reliving some old memories going of having to that my checker. past, and uh, it just looked really good. I don't know that we'll use it at all. Okay. But I think uh, we'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Yeah, and I understand you were saying earlier you farm right around 1,700 acres yet? We farm about 1,700 acres, both vegetable and grain. Okay. And uh, that's what I've done all my life, as well as being Farm Bureau President here in Pennsylvania. Okay. And uh, also uh, served as Chairman of the Board of Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company. All right. So it sounds like kept you pretty busy over the years then. I've been very busy over the years, but always agriculture. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, and that's what keeps this world going around, is having you guys like you that have been in agriculture and coming by in some of these old tractors from us. Well, no question about that. And another thing, you know, with Nationwide, the largest ag insurer in the country, mm -hmm. so we always support agriculture. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, and congratulations on My that pleasure. purchase. Max, thank you. Yep. All right, and here we have G53 as a 1972 John Deere 4000 diesel with the power shift. Has brand new tires all the way around. Also, if you look up here, is a side console with the dual hydraulics. For those of you who are kind of new to the hobby, a quick way to tell a 4000 from a 4020 would be these battery boxes here. On the 4000, they were open, and the 4020 would have been completely enclosed. 
The 4000, of course, was kind of a value spec tractor versus a 4020 or a 3020. Not that many of them out there. Really rare tractors. Interesting to see what happens when it comes across the block. And a 20 to 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 5. And a 20 pounds and your pants out 20 pounds and a 20 to 5, 20 to 5, maybe 20 to 5, 20 to 5, 20 to 5, pay 5. And a 20 pounds and a 20 to 5, pay 5, 27 5, 20 5, 27 5, maybe 7 5. And a 27 5, 30 pounds at a yield. And a 30 pounds at a 30 to 30 to 30 to 30 pounds and your pants out 2 5. And a 30 to 5, 30 to 5, 30 pounds at 30 to 5. And a 30 to 2 5, 30 pounds at 30 to 5. And a 30 to 5, 30 to 1000 500 pounds. And a 30 pounds and 30 to 5 to get 5. And a 30 Thirty five, 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 now five, 35, 35, your man's out, 30 for five. 35 pounds of pipe, and a 35 pound, 5, 5, 5, 55, and a 35 pound, 36 pounds, and a 36 pound, 36 pounds, and a 36 pound, 35 pound, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 36 pounds of pipe, and a 6 pounds of pipe, your pants out, and a 6 pound of the pipe, 5 for 5, but they get 36 pounds of pipe, and a 6 pounds of pipe, 36 pounds, and a 36 pounds of pipe, whoa, reserve is off in your round, Jesse, 36 pounds of pipe, and a 6 pound of the pipe, 5 for 5, but they get 36 pounds of pipe, and a 36 pounds of a Travis, everybody else is out, 36 pounds. And five, and a thirty-six pound of the five, five to five to the five, put it to five, and a thirty-six pounds and five, thirty-six pounds and five, and a six pound of the five, five to five to the thirty-six pounds and five hundred. Soda, thirty-six pounds and Travis, soda, thirty-six pounds and Travis. All right, G54. All right, and I'm here with John in Harrisburg, and uh, I guess John bought a four thousand John Deere. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. I believe that one was power shift too, wasn't it? It was a power shift. I only made a few of them, and uh, that's what I came for. Okay, so you pretty much got what you're shooting for. I, I came way. I got what I came for. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you're looking at here today? Uh, not today, no. Not today. Uh, I'm, I'm done. Probably got a trailer full. So. I got a trailer full. Yeah. So where are you from, John? Green County, Pennsylvania. Okay, so not too far from home here then. Uh, that's about a four-hour drive. It's 50 miles south of Pittsburgh. Okay. Now, I understand you got a few other tractors sitting at home that have been purchased from Econ Gone Farmer. I have a collection, uh, 3020, uh, and then the 4000 I bought today, and a okay. 4020 and a 4320. Okay. So kind of getting into that whole 20 series, wanting getting to get a full set. Series, huh? yeah. You know, and those are really gaining in popularity here oh, lately. Yeah. So, well, it's been nice talking to you, okay, John. Congratulations you. on your purchase. Okay, thank you. Yep. International uh, 1026 four-wheel drive. And the four-wheel drive is what makes it so rare, right? Yes, yeah, fairly rare tractor uh, it, by itself, but with the four-wheel drive, it makes it even more rare. And you kept it original. Tell me about that. Yeah, I like the original tractors. I, I would rather buy a, an original tractor myself so I can see what I'm buying. So I like to sell them that way too. And uh, this is part of my collection that I'm selling, and uh, I'm hoping the next person can restore it the way they'd like it. Absolutely. Are there any other features that we should know about on that international? Well, it's a hydrostatic, which is, uh, uh, there's not all the hyd internationals are hydrostatic. 1026 was a hydrostatic model, and um, so that's a feature that uh, some people look for. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and here we have G54, which is an international farm all 1026. This one here also has the rare mechanical front wheel assist option with brand new tires. The front end's been completely gone through. This one also has the hydrostatic transmission. It says it runs out strong on an excellent running 1026. Um, this here, of course, would be a great tractor if you had mucky or muddy soils with the front wheel assist to kind of pull through. Of course, mechanically driven from the transmission here. 
ought to be a great tractor to see come across the block here at Mecham Gone Farm in Harrisburg. Family to get five guys in here. We're going to get five, 30,000. And at 30 to 30 to 30 to 30 to 25. And at 20, for the good, for the good, for the good, for the good, 20,000. To 10, to the 10. And at 10, to the 10, to 10,000. 10, 12, 5. And at 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 
Get down high, get it, 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 get it,
What do you think so far at the auction today, man? The auction's been great, actually. Um, the crowd's been very, very, uh, I shouldn't say very, they've been extremely receptive to the auction here in Harrisburg. Uh, as far as what we've sold, they've been pretty diverse. Red, green, yellow, uh, it really doesn't matter to them. If the, if the quality's right, if the restoration's right, if the tractor's right, they're gonna bid on it regardless. Yeah, and of course, we still have some of them come through that are still in their work clothes and kind of fresh off the farm. A absolutely, a lot, of, a lot of people actually have a lot of interest in tractors that are still restoration ready. Um, and if, as long as they're correct, they're gonna be really receptive to that sort of market. Um, we had an original 1026 mechanical front, wheel, mechanical front wheel assist come through earlier that was in its everyday work clothes. It was a cab tractor originally an open station, and the tractor sold really, really well. Yeah, and, uh, so what kind of background did you have to kind of get into this and start knowing what the tractor models are and kind of getting into that? Well, first off, I grew up on a farm. Second off, I've been, I've been an auctioneer all my life. I grew up doing farm auctions, farm auctions at, a, at an estate, uh, farm auctions consignment, kind of like this. So I've been in the, the, the tractor side and I've been in the auctioneer side my entire life. So this is a combination of the two that fits me so well, it's like being at home when I come here. Yeah, it really makes you feel home. You can really tell you know what you're talking about up there. And you kind of know the background, especially now with this new era of tractors we're getting in here, the muscle tractors. Absolutely. You're a little bit more up on that than I am. I'm more back in the 60s and before. Yeah. And you seem to know a little bit more about those internationals, especially 806s, 26 series. Sure. So. Sure, the muscle tractors, you know, we've seen some of the eight ends that are kind of souped up, and right across the wall we're selling muscle cars, so for them people to come over here and, and bid on muscle tractors, uh, it, it, it suits it suits the, the general building and, and uh, the, yeah. the whole facility here. The, 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 the whole facility. Kind of yeah, absolutely. The, the crowd, the facility has been really, really receptive to the muscle tractors, the muscle cars, and it's a great mix of the two. Yep. Well, thank you very much for the interview, Matt. And good talking to you. Thank you very much. All right, and up next we've got a 2520 gas power shift coming up at lot G80. Beautifully restored tractor with a factory wide front. Also has a side console with a single remote and three point. And of course, if you look at the detail on the side of this thing in the engine compartment, everything's been done and done right. Like I said, the paintwork on this is flawless. Beautiful looking tractor. Ought to be interesting to see what this thing brings here. This is a side console power shift, is that correct? Side console power shift tractor. Give it a give it a 20 foot one here. I'm gonna give it a give it a give it a from what we're seeing here. Somebody get 30 foot house here. And 30 foot, I'm gonna give a five, five, five. Somebody get 30, I get 10, 12, five. I'm gonna give a 30, five, 10, 12, five. You say it now, 15, thousand. I'm gonna give it a give it a 15, give it a give it a 15, 15, 12, five here, 15, 13, 14. I get 30, get 14, 14, 14, 14, give me 14 here, 15. I get 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 16. I'm gonna give it a give it a 30, give it a 30, give it a 17. So we get 17, and your man's out at 18. I'm gonna give it a 30, 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 give it
Uh, I've owned it for 10 years. I helped put it together when I was 13 years old with my dad and Bob Early. Uh, we used it to start a big diesel engine with and uh, at our show. So, but it's it's a unique piece. It's pretty rare. We've never seen another one like it. So we've had it for, like I say, 39 years. And tell me about how you put the unit together. Well, we, we found a tractor, and then we found a tra the compressor was all apart at the quarry, but it was all there. We had to make the pulley assembly for the bottom of it, for the tensioner, and the, we painted it all, went through it all, and got it all working. So it's, it's a unique piece. And tell me about Fordson, too, because that's different in itself. Well, Fordson Tractors was a division of Ford Motor Company, and then later on they just dropped the Fordson, and it's just Ford only now, Ford Tractors. And are you sad to see it go? Uh, yes and no. We need to update it a little bit. My daughter, she wants something newer, so we're going to get her something a little newer maybe and fix it up. But uh, it, it's yes and no. I'm, I like it. It's unique, but it is hard to handle and hard to move around. So. Well, best of luck to Dan. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. How do you like that? I'd get a bit of a bit of a bit of a 19, 20, but well down. I'd get a bit just out of warranty. And I'd get a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a pair. 15, 15, 7 again. 10, 10,000 on a bit. I'd get a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a 10 here. I'd get a bit of a 10. That's at $5,000 started. 5,000 on a bit. Hit 5. I'd get a bit of a 5 down. 5. I'd get a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a 5 on the ports. And now 5,004. Three thousand dollars. Give it a start. Three thousand three. Thank you. Four. Three. Four. And three. I'd get a bit of a three bid. Four. I'd get a bit of a try. Four thousand on a bid. Somebody get four. Five. Five thousand dollars. Now five sir. Four is a bid. Five thousand on a bid. Hit four to five. And if we get a bit of a five bid, I'd get a bit of a bit of a four thousand forty-five hundred. Hit four bid. Forty-five. I'd get a bit of a forty-five. We get to roll it slow. We get four thousand here. Forty-five hundred on a bid. Anybody else at forty-five? Forty-five hundred on a bid. I'd get a bit of a forty-five. And if we get a bit of a forty-five. Forty-five. Sir, you want back in? Forty-five on a bid. 4,500, 45, I'd get a bit of a 45. 45, hey, 45 bid, I'd get a bit of a 4,000, 45. And if you get a bit of a 45, 45, I'd get a bit of a 4,500 on a bid. Young lady, go ahead and pull it forward. 4,500 is all. Now watch her drive that thing out. Watch your toes. 4,500 on a bid. Four's a bid, 4,500. 4,500 on a bid. I'll do that. I'd get a bit of a 4,500 on a bid. I'd get a bit, sir. 4,250, you want back in? $4,250. 4,000, $4,250. Audra, I'm going to close it your way at $4,000. We're going to be over $5,000 to buy the tractor. And here's Lance. Let's move on to number G74. 19, Casey Lama John. And up next, we got G77, which is a 1959 John Deere 530. This one here, pretty well decked out like everyone likes here. We got deluxe fenders, a factory wide front. Does have single remote with three point. All new tires all the way around. Beautiful restoration on this tractor. Also has the pre cleaner on it. And of course, the 530 was the last version of the John Deere Model B that started back in 1935. This here, of course, very desirable tractor. A lot of collectors like these because they're nice and small. You can get them on a trailer, easy to haul around, and a lot of fun at the shows. Pack a lot of punch for their size. Let's get back to the action here and see what this one gets hammered at. I'm gonna get somebody get 17 five, somebody get 15. I get 15, 15, five, six thousand. I'm gonna get a six air, seven, get a ticket, seven, get seven, get seven, get seven, get eight. I'm a day, 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 Seven half, you're gonna get 12, 7, 50. I'm a seven, you're gonna get seven, you're gonna get ten, five, 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 seven half. I'm gonna get a seven, you're gonna get ten, five, 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 twelve, seven, fifty. I'm a seven, you're gonna get seven, you're gonna get ten, twelve, five, you're twelve, seven half. I'm gonna get seven, I've got it here, man's out of thirteen thousand reserve off. I'm gonna get a thirteen, 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 thirteen tractor is for sale. I'm gonna get a thirteen thousand, thirteen, that beautiful little tractor in it. I'm gonna get a thirteen, 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 seven half, thirteen. I'm gonna thirteen, then I'm gonna give it to the 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 Sold at 12,750, Travis, 12,750, Travis. Number G78, 1954, John Deere. 
All right, and I'm here with Ken and his daughter, Laura. And I understand you just bought a 530. It just came across the block, Ken. Yes, I did. Going uh, to your 530 with deluxe fenders also. Okay. Add to my collection. Okay, and I understand you also bought a 630 earlier. Kind of sounds like you're starting a collection of 30 series. Yes, I am. I got them all now. Yeah. What do you plan on doing with the tractor? Are you going to just show it? Or are you going to use it a little bit? Or? Just show them. Just show them. Take them to our local county fairs. Just show them. Okay, so where's home for you, Ken? Uh, Punxsutawney. Okay. About 15 miles south of Punxsutawney. Okay. Uh, a little town of, called uh, Smixburg. Okay. So a lot of little local shows and everything around there to go to? Or? Yeah. Uh, we got a local fair there called Dayton Fair. We take them over there. We have an antique tractor club there in Smixburg. We belong to that. Okay. So it sounds like these tractors will be going right out and actually getting played with right away then, huh? Yeah. Showing off. So. Yeah. In the uh, middle of August, we have a fair, so we'll take them all over there and turn display. And... Well, sounds like a lot of fun. And enjoy your 530 and your 630, and thank you for coming to Meekum in Harrisburg. Thank you, too. All right, and up next, we got G59 is a 1963 Alice Chalmers D19 gas and of course the D19 was Alice Chalmers first venture into the six cylinder power in the farm tractors. This one here has good rubber all the way around. Also features a snap coupler hitch which was Alice Chalmers answer to Ford's three point hitch that they had. This one here like I said looks like kind of a farm shop restoration but still a beautiful looking tractor be great to use on the farm or go around and parade with that smooth six cylinder power be guaranteed to get some stuff done for you. This one here once again lot G59 let's see where she goes. There we go, I'd get a bit of a bit of a D19, I'd get a bit of a side pulling pipe here, I'd get a bit of a 10 pounds of bid. 10, I'd get a bit of a bit of a 10 pound bid, I'd get a bit of a 5 pounds of bid. At 5, I'd get a bit of a bit of a 10 pound bid, I'd get a bit of a 5 pounds of bid. At 5, 4, 4, 3 pounds of let's go. At 3 pounds of bid, are you looking here? 3 pounds of bid. At 3, I'd get a bit of a trade, I'd get a bit of 2 pounds, 3 pounds of bid. At 2 to 3, at 4, I'd get a bit of a 3 pound down 4, I'd get a bit of 3 pounds of bid, I'd get a bit of a 4 down 35, and a 4, at 4 pounds of bid, down 4, down 35, 4, at 4 pounds of bid, I'd get a bit of Get a minimum four down thirty-five four and four thousand on a bed. I'd get a minimum four down thirty-five four. Four thousand on a bed. I'd get a minimum thirty-five down four thousand dollars. And if you get a minimum four bed down four four five, get a minimum four down thirty-five seven and a half. Then thirty-five here seven and a half. I'd get a minimum thirty-five seven. If we get a lower yet thirty-five seven and a half. Then five here down seven and a half. Oh, but he's on the tractor thirty-five in thirty-seven and a half. Then if you get a minimum five down seven and a half. I'd get a minimum thirty-seven and fifteen. Then five down seven and a half. I'd get a minimum thirty-five seven and a half. Then if you get a minimum five down seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'd get a minimum thirty-five seven and a half. I'd get a bit of a seven and a half, and I'd get a bit of a bit of a bit of a thirty-five hand, I'd get a bit of a three band, thirty-five hand, and three thousand won't be thirty-five hundred, and three band, thirty-five, I'd get a bit of a thirty-five, yes or no, thirty-two, fifty, and three, I'd get a bit of a thirty-two and a half band, I'd get a bit of a three thousand, fifty, only thirty-two fifty, and three thousand, it'll be thirty-two fifty, thirty-two fifty, and three band, thirty-five, I'd get a bit of a thirty-two and a half band, I'd get a bit of a three thousand, fifty, only thirty-two fifty, 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 thirty-two fifty,
All right, up next we got G66 is a 1950 John Deere Model AO, and of course the O stands for Orchard, as you can tell by this top valance here and the skirts that are coming around the outside of the wheels. This was used in the orchard to protect the operator from the low-lying branches and also to protect the fruit from getting damaged by the wheels as they went by. This one here has had a complete professional restoration. All the tin work on this is actually in really good shape. They usually got beat up pretty bad. Also sporting original rear tires on it and also has the protectors for the front headlights that a lot of times are missing off of these tractors. Ought to be a great tractor to see what, what happens here on the block and let's go to it. Five down, seven pound, pay it, I'd get it, anybody get it again, seven thousand here. And seven to pay it, I'd get it again, seven down, seven down, ten, I'd get it ten thousand other band. And seven down, eight, nine, nine thousand other band, down, nine down, ten, and ten, I'd get it in a ten down, ten down, ten down, eleven thousand other band. And ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve, and twelve here, I'd get it in a twelve, and twelve down, thirteen band. And if you get it in thirteen thousand, you're out of it here, thirteen thousand other band, twelve, five, and twelve, I'd get it in a twelve, five band. And five, I'd get it in a twelve, five band, I'd get it in a twelve, five here, twelve, five, sir, and twelve, five band, you do that, twelve, five, and twelve, I'd get it in a five here, twelve, five band, I'd get it in twelve thousand. And five and five, I'd get it in about get it about five. You know, again, I'd get it in about twelve five here and twelve bid. I'd get it in about five, twelve five hands in the air if you want it. Twelve thousand five hundred other bid and twelve in a bid right here down the mantle. I'd get it in about twelve five bid and twelve. I'd get it in about twelve thousand five. And if you get it in about five bid, I'd get it in about five down. Twelve thousand five hundred other bid. Twelve thousand five in a five bid. I'd get it in about five down. Twelve five bid. I'd get it in a twelve bid. Twelve five in a five bid. I'd get it in about five hundred. Sir, you all back in. Twelve thousand five hundred other bid. You do it. Twelve thousand five hundred and twelve bid. I'd get it in. I'd get a bit of a tall five pair, and I'd get a bit of a tall down five down, twelve thousand five hundred on a bit. I'd have close it right here, twelve thousand dollars, closer to twelve thousand dollars. The bit goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, next traffic going into 19. All right, and as many of you have seen these faces on with us at Meekum Gone Farming, they are all related. Lance is the father, Logan and Abby. Now, how did you guys get started in the auctioneer business? My father owned a used farm machinery business, and he always said that ever since I was old enough to uh, basically ride with him, I went to farm auctions. So I started going to auctions about the age of four. Uh, whenever I would get home, I would line my farm toys up across the living room on the floor and have a farm auction. I never plowed, never disc, never harvested any crops, but I would go ahead and have an auction, reenact the, the events of the day. At age uh, 15, I went to auction school, uh, Mason City, Iowa, Worldwide College of Auctioneering. I actually sold my first auction at age 13, and been doing it ever since. And how about you, Logan? How did you get started? Um, well, as the times changed, you know, the uh, farm auctions became a little bit more prevalent, or a little less prevalent, I apologize, during my era of coming up in the auction business. So, like my father, I was brought along at a very young age by my father to a lot of auctions, but I was brought up in the car auction industry. And I, you know, car auctions two, three times a week if I was out of school, spring break, Christmas break, just pretty much anywhere you could squeeze me in to get me in, give me a little bit of work, get me comfortable. And, you know, I, I'm, very, I'm very thankful for that. So I, I can say that my dad truly is the person that's got me in the, in the auction industry. And how about you, Abby? Uh, they actually required me to go to auction school in order to pay for my college, and I didn't <laughs> want to go. <laughs> and then uh, I went into it, and I ended up falling in love with it. I'm truly passionate about what I do. I mean, he's responsible for me getting in it just as much as he was Logan. And I think that we're very blessed to all get to work together and experience an industry that we truly enjoy going to every day. And, and speaking for all three of us, there's not a day that we get up that we're not glad to go to work. We love what we do. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's going to wrap it up here from Mecham Gone Farm in Harrisburg. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Well, there you have it, folks. You've been watching Mecham's Gone Farming from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Today, we showed you some of the best tractors to cross the block this weekend. We hope you enjoyed it. Next time, our expert Max Wilson will show you even more of the featured tractors from the August Extravaganza. I'm Amanda Trudell. We'll see you next time on Meekum's Gone Farming.